Hey guys, and welcome back to another video, and yeah, you guys saw the title. Yeah, so today I'm going to be explaining how large, how large a Googleplex, I mean a Google and a Googleplex really are. Like, how large are they? Like, you guys probably know what a Google, like heard what a Google is. It's like a massive number, but how just, how massive is it? Like, how, how many zeros does it have in it? Well, first, before we build up to this Google, let's start with the basics. So basically, we're looking at the numbers 1 million, 1 billion, and 1 trillion. Or 1 million is 10 to the 6th power, 1 billion is 10 to the 9th power, and 1 trillion is 10 to the 12th power. All right, so you know, so 10 to the 6th power is 1 million, which means um, it's a one followed by six zeros. But how big is a Google? Like, how many zeros does a Google actually have? Like, what is it 10 to the power? Well, believe it or not, let's try 10 to the 100th power. So, yeah, like, a 10 to the 100th power, yeah, it's crazy. So, or basically with a, a one followed by 100 zeros, which is actually more of an enormous number than anyone can imagine. And my way of explaining it is not the easiest. So start with one simple dot, then draw nine more to make it ten. So then you would have ten dots, or aka ten to the power of one. And then so keep uh, drawing dots, so like that's just ten to the power of one. So then to keep going to actually get to a Google, you would have to keep going until you hit ten to the power of hundred, obviously. So, how do you get 10 to the power of 2? How do you make it that? So, 10 to the power of 2 is obviously 10 times 10. It equals 100. Which would be like 10 rows of that 10 dot row that I just did. It would be 10 of those rows. So, I have to draw 9 more rows. So, then 9 more rows. That would make it 100. It would make like maybe a square of dots. And that would be um 100 or 10 to the power of 2. But to get to the 10 to the power of 3, which is 1,000, you would have to draw 10 of those squares. And then let's say it formed a rectangle of 1,000 dots. And then after that, you draw those 10 um, squares made this rectangle. How do you get to 10,000? Well, try multiplying that again. Try making 10 of those rectangles and then making an even bigger square. That has 10,000 dots instead. But then you want to get to 100,000, 10 to the power of 5. You would have to take that big square and do another 9 of those to make 100,000. And that's only 10 to the power of 5. Imagine this, doing this process 100 times, multiplying it by 10. However, the Google is a quiet number compared to the Googleplex. Googleplex is number is 10 to the Googleth power, or 10 to the when, power of Google. And when the, I thought that um, when I was doing some numbers for this video, when I was trying to figure out what a Googleplex was, I thought... It was a, it was actually a much smaller number. My first estimate. So, basically, I'll show the number right on screen. I thought it was ten followed. I mean, it was a one followed by one hundred quintillion zeros, which quintillion the a one hundred quintillion looks like this, or a one followed by twenty zeros, or ten to the twentieth power. A Googleplex is much bigger. So you know how the formula is 10 to the Googleth power or 10 to the power of Google? I tried flipping the question around. Apparently, if you make it Google to the power of 10, and you keep multiplying it, let's say you did Google times Google, it would turn into a one with 10,000 zeros. You keep doing that 10 times, you'll get 100 quintillion. But apparently, when you multiply it, uh, let's say you multiply 10 100 times, you already have a Google plan, a Google. That's already 100. So basically, I actually did this. Um, I estimated like how close this might be. And it, this took me quite a while, actually. Apparently, a, Goog a Googleplex, how many zeros does it have? It actually has a Google amount of zeros. So now, picture this. You just finished your um, dots. You know the dots that we were talking about a couple minutes ago. The dots with the, um, you said 100 dot, like we were at um, 100,000. So let's say, let's say it's been like five years. You finally finished 
making 10 to the 100th power dots. You finally finished a Google Dots. But then, let's say that every dot represented one zero. And imagine this. How, do you, how many do you think, how much longer do you think it will take you to make a Googleplex dots? Not, not how many zeros. A Googleplex dots. I'm, I'm on, I, I want you guys to like write a, like make a comment in the comment section below. How long do you think it'll take to write uh, make a Googleplex amount of dots, or even just a Google to be honest? So okay, well, we're back to the main. So a Googleplex um, with a, with over with a Google zeros in it, you would have to continue your drawing. So that's only ten to the hundredth power. You need ten to the Googleth power. You need to draw that. Let's say you have, you have to draw 10 more of those ginormous 10 to the 100 power squares. And that would only equal 10 to the power of 101. And let's say it made a huge rectangle. But then your rectangle, you realize you have to make 10 of those rectangles of, of, of 10 to the 100, 101st power dots to make um, a, um, 10 to the one, 102nd power. And then you have to make 10 of those even bigger squares. Like, they're just going to keep turning the squares and rectangles even bigger than they were before. So they keep going. That That is only 102, 103, 104. You're not even close to the... You're not... You're, like, in a quiet zone compared to the Googleplex. The Googleplex... Imagine just trying to get to 10 to the power of 1,000. Imagine how long that's going to take you. So, yeah, guys. How long do you think that it'll take you to make that many dots? Let alone just writing the number. You would have to write a 1 with a Google amount of zeros. 1 with 10 to the 100th power zeros in front of it. That's just crazy. Okay, before we leave, we must look at this one last measurement. And it is called the Planck Length. Alright guys, so this is the last thing of the video. The Planck Length. It is the smallest unit of measurement. So small that anything, if you go any smaller than this... The laws of physics begin to break down. And what does the number actually look like? Well, in terms of the power wise. Well, what if I told you that the number was... The number is 1.6 times 10 to the negative 35 power. The observable universe is 93 billion light years wide. And one light year is 9.461 trillion kilometers. Moment of truth. How wide is the observable universe in Planck lengths? Does it beat the Google barrier? No. It wasn't even close to the Google. There is, um, in diameter, 1.4077968 times 10 to the 51st power Planck lengths in the observable universe in diameter. Not even close to the Google. And there you go, guys. That's basically it. It didn't even break the Google Plex. It didn't even break the Google barrier. Not even close, to be honest. So, and that's all. That's pretty much it. That's pretty much it. So, if you guys want to see more videos like this, or any videos in general, please smash the like button, destroy the subscribe button, and be sure and click the bell so you, so you guys don't miss any videos. You want me to click the bell? I mean, I mean, like, destroy it. Just destroy it. Demolish that bell. And you guys can follow me on Instagram. I'm, my name is Tornadoboy1001. I'll put it in the description below if you guys didn't really get that correctly. And I hope you guys are shocked how big the Google, the Google and the Googleplex actually are. Okay, okay, I'm, I'm done talking about, like, the Google, Google Plus stuff. I'm getting a little bit, my brain's getting a bit tired like that. Alright guys, see you guys in the next video. Whoosh.